Hello, and welcome to the training for the scanning function using your new Lexmark device. To enable the function, simply select email and work left to right and conclude the session by selecting send it, which will send to any recipient or recipients. You'll notice that you can use the little keyboard that's displayed to the right of any of the open spaces on the left hand side by typing in a new recipient's email address, changing the subject, typing in a message, or refile naming the document. By default, all Lexmark devices are file named image. For the purposes of this training, we'll go ahead and select the keyboard function for file name and rename it to test. Then select done. On the right hand side, we can customize and increase our resolution at the very top by using the left and the right arrows, depending on the type of document we're working with. We can also enable color scanning. Right now it's set to off, but if I select it, we now see a colored sheet of paper and the color indicator is on. If I select context, I can tell the machine I have a combination of text and photo, just photo, or graphics. If you choose anything with a photo designation and choose the green check mark, the machine will ask you where that photo comes from. If you don't know, simply select other and then the green check mark and the machine will figure it out on its own. If you select the darkness icon, the machine allows you to adjust the lever like you're able to in the facts and the copy screen to lighten a document or to darken it depending on what the original looks like. When you've selected the correct lightness or darkness, simply select the green check mark and the machine will reset to the default screen. The send as function allows you to change the file type. You can switch from PDF to TIFF or JPEG or XPS if you need to scan into an Excel spreadsheet. When you've selected the new file type, select the green check mark and the machine will scan the document in the designated document type. If you want the scan function to do a little bit more for you, simply select advanced options. One of the helpful functions in here is the edge erase function. This allows you to get rid of the top, bottom, the left, and the right of a document. So if you have header or footer information, you can easily get rid of that without having to fold your document and then put it on the glass. The image on the left hand side is a static image and will not change. Simply select the green check mark and the machine reverts back to the advanced functions option. From here, you can select send it or you can select back and then send it. Once you're finished, you can select the home icon and the machine resets back to the default screen. If you happen to walk away, the machine will reset after a minute to the screen that you're looking at now. Hopefully, this has addressed your issues with scan to email using the Lexmark device. If you have additional questions or would like to set up a training with an Imaging Path product trainer, please log a ticket with your desktop support team. Thanks, and have a great day.